Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hotfix. This is the Bargain Bin, and I'm filling in as host tonight. Uh, we do have a wonderful show for you tonight. Before we get into it, just a few quick announcements. Uh, AGDQ 2023 online. Prize submissions are open from now until December 30th. You can go to gamesdonequick.com for more information on that. As well, the schedule for Fro er, yep, nope, Frost Fatales, I did read that right. Frost Fatales 2023 will be released on December 21st. You can view the submissions at submissions.framefatales.com and let us know what you're hoping to see on the schedule. Uh, with all that said, I'm joined by Chicken Nuggets. How are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing great. And right. uh, what what game do you got for us tonight? Uh, we have Captain America Super Soldier. Um, I guess I'll just jump right into it. Yeah, whenever you're ready. All right, so, um, start a new game here. Uh, we're going to play on easy because fast and also playing this game on hard is a nightmare, so kind of I never want to do that. Um, so yeah, this is Captain America Super Strength Soldier, the, uh, the 2011 movie tie-in game for Captain America The First Avenger. Uh, there's a solid chance you've never this heard of this I game, believe. and there is a reason for that. <laughs> um, we will be doing the 100% category. I will explain what exactly that means a little bit later. Um, for now, all you need to know is that it means we're going to pick up most of the things. Oh, time starts now, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to pick up most of the stuff on the ground, but not all of it. Um, we'll worry about that later, though. For now, we're just going to do what any true superhero would do and just ignore all these bad guys and let all our friends die. That is the way. That's not the way. This is the way. Um, here's Bucky. Uh, he's going to rope us into it, pretending that we care about some stuff. Uh, so if it's not immediately obvious, uh, the voice cast for this game is actually the actors from the movie. Most notably, Chris Evans as Captain America, Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes, um, Haley Atwell as Peggy. This guy as this guy. <laughs> I always forget his name. Still doing a lot of ignoring stuff. Um, here's some parkour. There's some more guys we're gonna ignore. A lot of, a lot of just ignoring guys. You know how it is. They can't do anything about it. They don't want to. I mean, fight. that's pretty much what superheroes do, right? Yeah, and I mean, they don't want to fight me either, right? So. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would do the same thing. Yeah. Um, so our tank is gonna try to blow that guy up, fail miserably. And then it's going to blow up that tank. So we unfortunately do have to deal with this guy because he's kind of a problem. Um, but not yet. We have to wait till the game's ready and then we can deal with him. So we're just going to wait around for a little bit. All right. So now we can do a crippling strike if I can ever get up. There we go. Then do another one. Cool. And that takes care of that. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of background information on this game. As I said, it's the movie tie-in game for the first Avenger. Uh, it doesn't follow the story of the first Avenger, though. It's kind of just a standalone story that takes place, like, at some point during that movie. I guess during one of the, like, action montages is when this happens. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's running at a frame rate. Um, it's not a good frame rate, but it is a frame rate. Um, as I mentioned, this is the, or I don't know if I did mention this, but this is the Xbox 360 version. Uh, you can also get this game on PS3, and unfortunately there's no PC version. There was supposed to be one, but it was cancelled like a week before it was supposed to come out, which is just tragic. Um, there's also a different game with the same title released at the same time for the Wii, and that version was later ported to the 3DS. And then there is yet another game with the same name on the same release day for the DS. Because this was this was Sega, and that was that era of Sega where they just kind of made three games for the price of one, and all of them were terrible. Yeah, if you interact, it's radio too fast. The game just this is Rogers. there we go. Go ahead, over. It's a little finicky for some reason. So okay, so what what 100% means in this game is. 
Let me just read down the whole list here. So there are 13 film reels scattered throughout the world that we have to collect, uh, 31 Zemo diaries, 18 enemy schematics, 50 ceramic eggs, and there are 12 anti-air cannons that we have to blow up. Um, but there's a bit of a there's a bit of a weirdness with this game. So um, there are actually, for example, these ceramic eggs. There are 64 of them in the game world physically. But once you pick up the 50th one, the game just decides that you're done, and the rest of them just disappear. What? Uh, yeah, it's I I don't know any other game that does it like that, but that's that's apparently how it works. Here's one of the film reels, by the way. We're not gonna watch it, but we have it. Um, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking, but that's how that works. That was very weird to figure out. Trying to like look up online what was going on with this game. Nobody knew what was going on. Everyone thought the collectibles were just RNG or something. Um, but I figured it out. It's just that. So to route it, I just had to find the like fastest ones. So we're going to ignore a good amount of stuff. But there are, let's see, let me just check. I have my route notes here. There are 139 things in the world, and we're only gonna do 122. Of them. From here. Get out as soon as I'm clear. Right, we're almost out of this um, uh, exhibition uh, exposition plane. Here we go. This game has loading screens. All right, here's some bad guys that we actually are gonna fight. Um, but they're already on the ground, so we can just do a good old ground takedown. Uh, this game was very, very heavily inspired by Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, the combat is trying really hard to be that game. Um, and it mostly fails. But it doesn't really matter for the speedrun, because basically how you win the speedrun is you just throw your shield at everything. Which doesn't look that useful right now. Sort of struggle a little bit. Gotta think. But it'll this be is true to the character. Yeah. So here's a puzzle. Um, there's the thing on the left and the thing on the right. You line them up. You win. Uh, it gets a lot harder, and I'm very bad at them. And we're hearing the voice of Baron Strucker here, which unfortunately definitively confirms that. Uh, this is not MCU canon. Which is a big shame. This fun all lasted. They should come in a mile away. Gotta hit them from a distance. This. I don't think there's any other way to take these guys out. Just gotta manually throw very slowly. Um, so that guy accidentally shoots something that explodes. We need to get out of here. Uh, so here's parkour. So the way you do parkour is you press A, and then you press A, and then you press A. And then you press A, 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 and then you're done. You win. There's there's really not much more to parkour than that. It's just pressing one button kind of at the right time. The timing's pretty generous, honestly. Alright, we'll get a little bit of a better look at how the shield can be useful here. Oops. It's especially useful when it hits two people. Alright, that takes care of that, so now we gotta start doing the hundo part of this run. Um, here's an egg. By an upgrade. So this upgrade allows us to ricochet the shield off of really more people it. by just mashing right trigger after we throw it. At least that seems to be how it works. There's another egg. And another one of these weird puzzles. Um, two. It's a little finicky about lining them up. Let's go down here. I believe. Oh yes, so here we've got a room full of scientists and computers, and this game has a bit of a golden eye syndrome where everything explodes. And the uh, scientists go down in one hit. No matter what you do to them, it's just a one hit. I bet there's a radio up there. I just hope the signal is strong enough. Um, there's a lot of ladders in this game. Like, a lot, a lot. 
and the ladder climbing animation is not very Captain America. -y. It's it's quite slow actually. It's very unfortunate. At least you can slide down them, but you also like never have to. So like going down is never a problem because you can just like drop off the ledge usually. But going up is like like is this the fastest he can climb a ladder? He's uh yeah he's <laughs> not very enthusiastic about getting to the top. There's a falcon cowl and gloves, which is the first Zemo Diary item. Some more bad guys here. Whenever they decide they're ready to be fought. Here we go. This gets a little awkward because the shield will sometimes go into the hallway, but it won't always. And they take way too long to just like come out on their own. Come on. Yeah, there's a guy just standing back there. Like, what are you doing? There we go. Always. A lot of weird hallways. I don't know who designed the layout of these places. Uh, some of these fights are optional. This game's a little weird. Sometimes it's super stingy about like forcing you to fight people first, and then sometimes there's just two people standing at a door and you just go to the door, and it's fine. Bunch of stuff in this room. Actually, not a bunch of stuff. There's like two things in this room. Um, while we're waiting for those guys to get out. Grab this film reel. So these guys have a shield, um, but my shield's better, so it matters not. Alright, um, here's a secret passageway. There's one thing back here we need. The cameo ornament. I don't know what those words mean. It's just like a picture of somebody. We've got another hacking puzzle over here. Uh, D. Sometimes I can spot it immediately. These early ones are pretty easy, though. There's there's one in particular, like, halfway through the game that's, like, really crazy. Alright, there's another egg. Um, so we got a do another kind of mini game. Hey, guns, to these machines. Um, instead of hacking, we're going to hotwire things. Do this a little more quietly. Um, that's going to blow up an A again in here. But first, I need this. All right. So the way this works is you push these things close together, but not too close together, like so. Um, weird thing about that puzzle down, is if you fail it, it still, like, succeeds. Um, and it's almost faster to fail them on purpose, but for some reason there's, like, a weird delay after you fail them. I guess to, like, specifically discourage you from failing them. I don't know, it's very strange. Don't make mistakes. Sometimes these snipers will shoot you right away. Sometimes they'll take their time. While you're waiting for them, you can just grab all this stuff down here. And if this guy decides not to shoot you, you can just throw your shield at him. This game is very, uh, holds your hand a lot in terms of telling you where to go and what to do. Oh, and this is where we learn about uh, Cap's tactical mind where uh, everything can turn to sepia tone and is glowy. Um, I like to call it boomer vision. It also makes everything kind of quiet for some reason. Um, here's the thing we need. I'm just gonna loot a whole ton of artwork in the, uh, in this castle. Basically half of what we're doing. It's just looting artwork in this room. 
as it did in World War II. Over here. Grab this. No other things we need to collect here, so we're just gonna go ahead and progress. Strike two. Oops. One more in that gun's history. That's a lot of heat venting from down there. Or shout out to this 360 controller for not having like major dead zone problems despite being extremely old and pretty roughly used. That'll bring him running. That, this would be, be so much more difficult up. with like that stick drift, you know. Be heavily guarded. But if I can't disable it, the invaders are sitting ducks. <laughs> There's an egg. Um, if you don't pick that up right now, you never can, so. Make sure we get that one. Here's the welcome okay, Here's the first, like, really big fight. There's actually not that many really big fights in this game. The game mostly just throws like different enemy types at you, but here there's just a whole bunch of normal dudes. You really get to like abuse the shield here. As you can see, I would just ping pongs between all the different enemies. Anybody left? There's a radio, there's an antenna. Bingo. And now we enter the bunkhouse. There is quite a lot of stuff in here we need to pick up. Eyes open. Nobody's there's fast. another pretty big play here. Oh. Fortunately, the shield doesn't hit these guys, but you can do a weird vertical throw there, which didn't work. Okay. Oh God, that's rude. Try again. There we go. I don't even know what happened to my shield there. I got stuck somewhere. All right. Oh. Oh. Got to secure that. So there's a stein there we need to pick up. And right over here, um, there's a helmet. And over here in the kitchen, there's another stein. Make our way upstairs. There's another helmet. They were very uh, creative about how they uh, chose which collectibles go where. Security codes I guess. for access doors have been updated. Stand by and take notes. Access to the service lift is now as follows. Alpha, Delta, 4, 4, Delta. So yeah, pretty much the whole game is going to be uh, exploring this castle. And uh, finding stuff in it, tracking down various villains, that sort of thing. Um, oh, why am I so bad at these?
That should do it. We got another upgrade. So this time we're going to buy the counter grab, Practice makes which will work. be slightly useful in some boss fights. Um, the main reason it's actually useful though is just because once you buy all three of those upgrades on the top level of that menu, you unlock the second level. And in the second level, there's an upgrade that uh, lets you ricochet the shield even more. So obviously we want that. Um, why is the camera locked? Uh, fortunately, radios have plot armor, so they don't explode. Even when everything else does. I took out a second gun. Now I've entered what looks like a barracks area. Yeah, don't mind the uh, the appearance of lag in this game. That is, it's just the frame rate. <laughs> the game actually runs like this. It's awful. Copy. I'll head in that direction and try to create some diversions along the way. Good thinking. If we can distract them and damage their supply chain at the same time, so much the better. Over and out. So a bunch of guys are gonna enter this building, and you could fight them. I guess. Or uh, we could just not do that. So you just hop this railing. And then hop this railing. Oops. There we go. You are out of there. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no... Uh, backwards compatibility for this game, so if you want to play it, you actually got to play it on the 360. No Wonder Series or the PS3, but the um, I imagine the 360 version is the best one. I haven't tried the PS3 version, but I would imagine it has much worse load times because you can't buy it digitally, which means you're getting Blu-ray disc load times, which are notoriously bad. Or is this? I have it installed on the Xbox's hard drive, so it's probably the best case scenario. Left is where you actually want to go, but off to the right here we have an egg. patiently wait for them to fire their cannon at us. And that takes care of that. Um, I'm gonna wait for that. Grab this egg. There's a lot of eggs. Oh, okay, apparently I hit him while he was down. Take that. Uh, who's alive? It's a little confusing sometimes. Might be someone up here. It usually doesn't happen when you blow up the turret, but I guess it did this time. Alright. Put up for after we finish this hack. Um, what do we have here? Six, seven, B. Here we gotta take a little bit of a weird path to get something. Involves more parkour, of course. Over here, and then we have to go the long way around because the developers decided that it would be too easy if you just walk straight to it or hop over that or anything. Because, uh, game design. I guess. Here's a schematic. The, uh, the schematics are actually kind of cool. They give you, I guess the idea is that you like learn about the different enemy types, so you actually like get better at fighting them. Like you do more damage or something when you pick them up. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's a cool concept. It doesn't really matter, but the, the concept is cool. 
you got you got to give this game credit for everything it did right, because otherwise, uh, there's not much to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> you love to hear it. earlier the uh, scientists go down in one hit which is sometimes pretty comical like that right, so that's an a cannon taken care of it's the I forget what one that was whatever there'll be a lot more of them Here's the motor pool. This is kind of a fun area. There's a lot of things to blow up here and a lot of enemies to completely ignore. This is just all the way to the motor pool. Uh, best way to get rid of these guys is to just hit that and... Is he calling for backup? I didn't know he could do that. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna just ignore them all, but... They've never survived that explosion. Here's another schematic, another cameo. Um, let's get over here. Once again, ignoring everybody. Up up here. Whoops, if the game allows it. There we go. Random statue just sitting on top of a shipping container for some reason. Gotta love it. Schematic sitting on top of a different shipping container. The place is really quite disorganized. Heck, ow. That was rude. Oops. Excuse me, can I pick it up? Okay. Now we can ignore everybody. Make our way into. Oops. scientists in here. Gotta take all of them out, so keep an eye out for them. Unfortunately, they're not really a problem. Got two snipers as well. Can you... There we go. And... There we go. So, we've got another one of these big guys from the beginning of the game, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did at the beginning of the game. Just two crippling strikes on him. After many explosions. Nice ragdoll there. There's a film. Big guy right here because balancing. Fortunately, we uh, having four focus bars. You have exactly the right amount of focus to take out two big guys when you have full focus. Um, right over here, let's hit this. That'll make getting out a little easier later. Can't get it open. Game is kindly informing us that uh, we have to get to the other side of the room. Something that we definitely could not have figured out on our own. Let's head over there. Do some classic parkour. But this is different because it's parkour while you're being shot at. And uh, to do that, you just press A. here, hidden behind this chalkboard. Um, hey. Before we 
we leave here, we gotta go grab. Oh, what's the game? Allows us to. There we go. Grab this helmet. And this schematic. And then we leave. That's what happens if you don't press A, he just like keeps swinging or just stands there like an idiot until you press A again. So parkour is pretty low stakes. But it's a great way to get all of your focus back. And focus is somewhat useful. Um, so there's two eggs here. One's here. And one is cleverly hidden behind this locker. Now we're going to make our way to the armory. More digging. They're turning this whole mountain into a weapon. Not really sure what they're doing to the. Uh, I bet my last nickel that's an armory. The ground. But I guess they're digging for some reason. Even more parkour. A big shout out. This guy has no idea what's coming though. Whoops. Actually got shot there. Took a tiny bit of damage. Whoops. And we'll just ignore these guys. Alright, so there's a lot of places in this building where the enemies can call for reinforcements, and that is slow and annoying, so we're gonna try to prevent that from happening. Basically, if they just walk up to this thing and are, like, standing near it, then reinforcements get called. Okay, that. Cool. Downstairs. There's no, uh, collectibles in here because... Uh, spoiler alert, we're gonna blow up this whole building in a second here. Um, just as soon as I find the numbers. There we go. And there's another reinforcement calling over here, so we're gonna try to stand over here and, whoops, don't even think about it. Just stand at this thing, and as soon as the game Gotta tells us, all, but fast. then we can blow it up. We'll blow it up. Should blow this place sky high. All right. That should do it. Gotta we only have 30 fast. seconds to get out of here. I don't know how we're gonna manage that. Oof! Just made it. That was that was a close one. It was like a very generous timer. <laughs> yeah. Well, they expected you to actually fight the guys, but uh, I mean, <laughs> you can just I not. <laughs> I didn't even like do that, that on close. purpose the first time. I just like accidentally got too close to the exit during a fight, and it just ended. You hear me, American? It just sucked. it just sucked you out of the level. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, so we got another egg over here. A lot of eggs. And even another one hidden behind these barrels. Yep. Alright, now we're gonna make our way to the uh That lift is my ticket to the rooftop. Whatever this area is called, I forget. See. The estate rooftop. Alpha Delta 44 Delta. Alpha Delta 44 Delta, that obviously means the passcode is zero. That makes sense. And open sesame. Alright, so there's another anti-air cannon on the estate rooftop. Um, it's a little bit away from us, so we're going to be a little bit more clever about how we knock that over. Can't just walk up to it and blow it up. No time. It's too well guarded. Ignore these guys. So this cable here, we're just going to chuck this right at it. Let it go right through us, but it's fine. 
I sever a couple more anchor points, it's going down. So, for some reason, this cable is not vulnerable until Strucker stops talking. Makes perfect sense. You know, this, when the super villain's monologuing, you gotta, you gotta wait. You know. That's how Monologues are important times. You can't interrupt them. Of course, yeah. Uh, here's a fun ability. You can just kind of hijack this guy and use him to blow everybody up. We're not going to do this a lot because it takes a lot of focus, but in this particular situation, it's pretty nice. That takes care of that anti-air cannon. Um, and that totally did, that fell down in a totally physically correct so way. Long -range air defenses. We need to find a radio. Snipers are gonna try to fight us. They're gonna not succeed. Actually worked out better than I expected. All right, now we head to the radar dome. So this is where the first boss fight of the game is going to be. We're going to fight uh, Baron Strucker. Um, first, we're gonna blow up a bunch of stuff. Because that's really the, the, the main goal of this game is to just blow everything up. The like game, superheroes do. Yeah. The game even, like, in the stats keeps track of how much stuff you've blown up. It's great. <laughs> also keeps track of how many statues you've shattered. Because there's a lot of statues you can shatter. I mean, these are the important statistics. Yeah. It's what everyone wants to know. I wonder what the minimum amount of stuff you need to blow up is, like, to beat the game. That racket will bring reinforcements. Gotta set Stark's explosive where it'll do the most good. That looks like a load-bearing column. Put some C3 on that. Gotta work my way up to place the rest of these explosives fast. The invaders will be here any minute. To wait on that beam. A little explosive putty should go this down, way. and then it is boss fight time. Alright, so the way you fight bosses is you do a crippling strike. And then you do a crippling strike. And you do a crippling strike. And then if you're lucky, you do another crippling strike. And then you just kind of punch them normally and try not to like get destroyed until you have enough focus to do another crippling strike. This peasant is beneath me. Show the mongrel how to beg. That's where the uh, counter grabs kind of come to be useful, but for some reason timing them on his attack specifically is really weird. Like, like the um, when you actually need to press the button is like after the counter prompt shows up. It's very strange. I don't know why it works like that. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw him over the ledge here. These button mash segments are kind of hard, actually. You gotta like mash pretty quickly. So that takes care of him. He's done. We win. out of our way. Those 
explosives will take out the supports. Now for the dish itself. Alright, so for those of you that have not been following along, um, we jumped out of a plane to get here, and that plane is still like flying around trying to figure out where they could drop off the rest of the dudes who can't just jump out of the plane. Because they're not Captain America. Um, bad guys are trying to blow up the plane, so we're trying to blow up the thing that they're going to use to blow up the plane. Should be simple enough. And we have five minutes to do that because the game said so. That would be the perfect spot to plant explosives. But it's armored. Need to expose the interior. Why are this thing? Did it. Now the other side. Where are this thing? Open sesame. One last charge. Kind of makes you wonder why they gave you four minutes to do this. Whoops, I went the wrong way. I mean, I have a lot of questions about this game, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, okay. What a... <laughs> I'm, I'm caught up on this plane. Why... Just send the plane away. You have Captain America on the ground. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> What why are we... the other people are gonna do? I don't know why I need help, to be honest. But apparently I do. Um, Strucker's back, because I guess... Yeah. I don't want to get stuck in the elevator here, because the elevator door will close, and then if he's inside of it, that'll just be slow. Keeps going back towards it, though. Come on. Go the other way. There we go. It's going to just spam crippling strikes to win until that stops working. This peasant is beneath me. Show the mongrel how to beg. Better hurry. Whoops. Counter too early again. Classic. Here they come. Take some of these guys out to fill up some focus. Whoops. That time you just tried to counter the wrong guy. It wasn't even my fault. There we go. All right, now he's actually done this time and last charge check everybody out cool. Not too late. Uh, before this happens let's buy another upgrade here this upgrades That'll useless come. but it unlocks these other ones um, and we're coming up on a whole bunch of unskippable cutscenes now so I think we said we were gonna take a break yeah we can take a break um, you said it's about four minutes so we can take a a few minute break while these unspoiled cutscenes are playing. Yeah. Uh, so the the wellness breaks we take are just so that you know you can get up, stretch, uh, get some water, anything you need to do uh, during the runs. So we're gonna take a few minute break while these cutscenes play, and then we'll be right back with the rest of the game. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hot Fix. This is the Bargain Bin and we are in the middle of a run of Captain America Super Soldier. Uh, I will just hand it over right away and we can get back right into it. Alright, so yeah, as mentioned, this is Captain America Super Soldier. Uh, for those just tuning in, this is the 2011 movie tie-in game for Captain America The First Avenger. Um, we were captured in the last cutscene that was playing. Um, so we're in prison right now, but we're gonna break out as soon as we get it together. Uh, fortunately, there is an exposed electrical access panel inside our cell, so we're just gonna go ahead and abuse that. Um, here's what it looks like when you fail one of these puzzles, by the way. You get destroyed, but it like doesn't matter because you still 
did it. It's very amusing. And you lose a bunch of health, but on easy, the health regen is so generous that it, like, does not matter at all. Alright, so now we get to do a whole lot of parkour to try to get out of here. Um, this room is pretty terrible the first time that you play the game, because there's just so many different paths, and it's very easy to get lost in this game in general, but just especially in this building. In fact, I might even get lost here. I gotta be careful and make sure I'm going the right way. This doesn't feel right. Yep, this is wrong. <laughs> Case in point. Um, here we are. This part of the parkour is just weird. Like, it doesn't really do... It doesn't really want you to go the way you're expecting to go. Like, you expect to just go up there, but you have to, like, go across and then up. Um, and then it would ex you would expect to go left, but you're supposed to go through this wall. It's a lot of unintuitive level design here. Um, make sure I'm doing this right. Right. Um, of course, there's a whole bunch of collectibles scattered all around here, but we're going to ignore them for the most part. There's a couple things at the end of this room that we want to get. Um, there's these steam pipe things, um, but unlike other games, they don't like actually physically stop you from going. And the health damage they do is just not important at all, so we're just going to completely ignore those. Busting right through these walls. This room's also in like a cave or something. It's really weird. I don't know how they built this or why. But then, like, neglected to make sure the walls were actually like intact. Like, I, I feel like the building wouldn't stand if it was... I mean, yeah, he's super strong, but, like, if every wall is like that, you'd think that it wouldn't be structured. That it would just sound, fall right? apart, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's why we were the only prisoner here, though, and we were in that middle thing. Because that was, like, the closest thing they had to an actual good cell. Um, they finally realized that we've escaped. I guess they just weren't paying attention to all the explosions happening. Um, sliding on this seems awful. It must really hurt your hands. On like yeah. a chain link thing. This is brutal. Like even for a superhero, that would just be uncomfortable. I guess his gloves are just really good. I guess so. I'm just going to completely ignore the steam there because it doesn't matter. Uh, this parkour segment's a little annoying because anytime you have to like turn around, it's hard to go fast because he just like forces you to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, so we don't have our shield right now, so we're going to have to do combat a little bit more the intended way so you get to see what the combat's actually supposed to look like. Um, you still one-shot the scientists, though. So. There's an egg. I gotta grab the shield guys to actually be able to punch them. Which hasn't come up yet, because the grab feature is mostly useless when you can just spam shield attacks. Yeah, like I said earlier, this is uh, very, very heavily inspired by Arkham Asylum, um, but it kind of missed the mark a little bit. A radio. Right. Gotta wreck that radio to check in and progress, but first, make sure we grab all the collectibles we want from here. Including this weird one through this wall. Alright, 
and that's all we care about in this building. Rogers to base, come in. Over. Captain, it's Peggy. Thank God you're alive. What's your status? So yeah, there's uh there's a whole bunch of our allies locked up now. They kinda got everybody. It's pretty much the worst thing that could have possibly happened, but it'll all work out. Don't worry. Then Madam Hydra's got them. They're probably nearby. I know how you feel, but be careful. Fighting without your shield will take getting used to. I'm gonna search the area. Try to determine where they're being held. Radio Marita and tell him to stand by. I love these just completely random camera angles. I may need that artillery. Rogers just had to do something to make this dialogue vaguely interesting, so they just moved the camera around completely randomly. It's cinematic. Yeah. That's what people want in their video games, right? <laughs> I, I want cinematic camera angles and uh, lens flares. Yeah, and frame rates. I mean, I would trade everything for my frame rate. Oh, God. <laughs> God, I wish I could play this at a real frame rate. This game actually sort of runs okay on a PS3 emulator. Oh, speaking of frame rate, check out this spotlight. This is something else. <laughs> I, that is something else. You're not wrong. <laughs> it's like a 10 frames per second spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> they just like actually couldn't update it every frame, so that was the compromise they came up with. So that takes care of that guy. Um, we're gonna unlock a new focus ability. Where basically we turn into an actual superhero. And you can just one shot everybody, no matter what. Yeah, the game the game tries to run at 30, but it it, it doesn't. It's like probably 20 on average. It's pretty rough. Yeah, like I was saying, it runs uh it runs okay on an emulator some of the time, but then sometimes it's like borderline unplayable, so it's you really can't win. One day. <laughs> it takes all the frames from parts of the game and puts them in other parts. Yeah, it just just transfers them. <laughs> There's a helmet. Um, we gotta go get our shield. We're gonna get that back soon. I think the lab Zola dragged me through is on the other side. Uh, one. The underground railway. That must be how they keep this place Yeah, there's, supply. there's trains in this facility somehow. Um, that'll be important later. Zola wanted my shield analyzed. This, this seems like a very large facility, and I'm very confused why there's an electrical panel in the only cell that matters. I know. Right? <laughs> like, this seems to be pretty important. Yeah, they made a cell like specifically for Captain America, but they didn't have the budget to like take out the the unguarded access panel. spent all their money on the underground rail line. Um, here's... This isn't technically required for 100% how I defined it, but I'm going to get it anyway if I can solve this nightmare of a hacking puzzle. Uh, oh boy. This is like the hardest one in the game. Um, 49B020. Zero. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's a rooster here. And now I have it. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> doesn't doesn't connect to anything. It's just there. And it's a one of a kind. Get her shield. 
shield back. That's better. Don't make it without. All right. This. Now we really appreciate the shield. Oh, didn't even mean to do that, but it worked out. Is that everybody? Yep. And more importantly, our gear. You know, our our stuff. The shield kind of matters, but ooh, thank goodness for that stuff. There's a film reel and a schematic. And now we leave. As I said it's it's free to pick those two things up because we just have to wait for this door anyway. Um, they're torturing your friend in the other room. Well, we'll get to him. It's fine. I don't find him soon. He's around here somewhere, probably. Find him. He cut me to his head. This is a fun fight. Oops. Sometimes these guys don't really play along. Alright. I think that's already down there. Combat in this involves a decent amount of improvisation because the game will not do what you want it to do, like ever. The security codes for access doors have been updated. That biotech note. Hotel Gamma 42 Alpha Tango. That will totally matter later. Hotel Gamma 42 Alpha Tango. They've got them all right. Bucky's locked up in an adjoining wing. Just have to find the right door. Oops. This game's also very inconsistent about what it considers a railing. Because uh, of course, right? Yeah. Why? Why would anything be consistent? You know, <laughs> that'd be too easy. Yeah, there's so many things that you can't hop over that you should totally be able to, and then like that railing back there. Like, I was genuinely surprised that it considered that one. Cell should be somewhere around here. Mess up, and then when we wait for this door to open, there's a collectible we can go grab. I believe we go up here and up and over and here's that helmet. I'll bet my shield can disrupt those transforms. But what's the purpose of the the floor like that that you can't there's There's just no wall and then a huge drop into another room? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew. I don't. These explosions can actually kill you, so you gotta be a little bit careful. Alright, so this room is a nightmare if you don't know what's going on or where you're going. Um but fortunately I do, so it's fine. You just go left. Ignore everybody. You just keep going until you hit the staircase. 
and then you go up and you keep going left and the objectives right here all right so in that cutscene either like we helped Bucky break out or Bucky broke himself out or something I forget I honestly haven't watched the cutscenes in a while but uh we gotta continue to help him break out because there's a bunch of snipers that are gonna try to kill everybody That was fast. Whoops. This is like a really tall lantern. Here they knew you would get lost, so they just told you exactly where to go. Like you just, <laughs> just follow the yellow circles and stars. I don't blame them, because, yeah, you would get lost there. There's no way you could possibly figure out where to go, but it's kind of funny that like they felt like they had to do that. But only in that part of the game. They never do that anywhere else. They designed it and afterwards they were like, I I don't know. I don't know where to go. Yeah. I need help. Like I designed this level and I don't even know where the objective is. Good going. Is there a way to open that bulkhead door? So all the uh, all the guys got on the train, um, but there's bad guys out here. They're gonna try to blow up the train. So yeah, we get the idea. Fight the bad guys. Don't pay too much attention to the lip sync, by the way. You will you will hate it. parkour segment always throws me off. One quick thing gotta grab here. So before I was ready to do anything about it, the guys on the train just decided to start going. It's annoying. That missile turret's just what the doctor ordered. Okay, that we got this. Um, first, let me grab this schematic. Get this guy out of here. Um, so I don't actually know what happens if you fail this and they blow up the train. Um, I've never had that happen, so it'll probably happen today. <laughs> at least you're at least you're aware of it. Now we're good. It always looks like, no matter how well you do there, it always looks like the train is like one shot away from exploding. The train does not look good. I will agree with you on that. So yeah. Make sure they don't. Roger to Marita. Do you read? Peggy told me you boys had artillery. I can definitely use. Turns out it just looks like that. It's an aesthetic choice. Yeah. 
use some sort of range finding radar device. Be funny if you can't fail this. Stand by. As well, I wouldn't even be surprised. Just be like, yep, that's that's this game, all right. Prepare to receive coordinates by Morse code. All right, and if as if the train hasn't had a scary enough time getting out of here, we're gonna bomb the bridge while the train is still on it. It's Ooh, giving it any room to breathe. Copy. Thanks, Buck. Now get those men clear. I'm going back in to find Dugan and Fallsworth. Um, two. I love the yellow on sepia tone here. Needs contrast anyway. Alright, so uh bad things are happening in the lab right now. Some casual uh foreshadowing. We gotta blow up another anti air cannon. So, as you can see, bad things have happened. There's like three people knocked out on the ground. Oh, sorry, four people knocked out on the ground. We've got the classic science experiment gone wrong set up here. So like, I guess this would be scary if it was in a different video game. And also if the music was like, doing what it was supposed to be doing, the music messed up there. I have to find Dugan and Fallsworth now. And also you can just one shot them with a crippling strike. Looks like they're pulling out the big guns to oh. these guys. A lot of uh, collateral damage here, oh dear. I want to get rid of the big guy. Cool. There right, should be a schematic here. Um, I don't have my shield right now. I got launched somewhere, but it's okay. The game will give it back to me if I run far enough away. There we go. Which is actually kind of nice, because like if I got stuck inside a wall or something, I'd be pretty lame. But it's a little goofy. And there's no more things we have to collect here, so there's just gonna be a bunch of enemies to fight. Um. Totally heard you, Cap. Nice jump there to prevent backtracking. It's probably the only reason that's a thing. <laughs> well, certainly. Come on. There we go. 
try to save my focus here, because... Oh, oh, cool, that works. I hope. Yep, that works, cool. <laughs> Still, Dugan. I'll have you free in a second. Never had that happen before. I'm just glad it actually counted as defeating the guy, because it easily could have not. Huh? Would have been pretty bad if it didn't. Yeah. This game doesn't really have uh, reloading from checkpoints. It does have checkpoints, but like you have to quit to the menu, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> so ideally. That just isn't a problem. Alright. I think I've fought enough of these things. Yeah, you fight like 20 of them, and then there's like two more in the rest of the game. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> If you think I'm leaving without you, you're crazier than Zola. It's the only way. We need both ends secured or they could- Ah, oh, you're so side. smart, Cap. You're totally Good right. Point. I'll send it back down. See you topside. Okay, so we're gonna use our, um... We're gonna use this ability here to try to get rid of everybody. But mainly that guy. Unless he's already dead. Oh, he wasn't. Rip. It's hard to tell when they're on the ground if they're knocked out or not. Especially when you're, like, in the middle of something else. Yeah. There we go. It's okay, though. It means I have a good amount of focus for this next segment, which is not a bad thing. Okay, so we are entering the courtyard, and from the courtyard we'll go to the estate where we will have the next boss fight against Madame Hydra. Which, um, her whole personality is Hydra woman. I, there's really nothing else to it. First, as always, there's plenty of things to collect. There's a schematic over here. Um, plenty of bad guys to ignore. Go get her! I got a score to settle with that cannon that shot us down. He's just gonna go off and do his own thing now. He just he got his he got his two minutes of being in the game so that they could put his name on the box for marketing purposes. <laughs> then on the far side here. Kinda awkward to collect the things in here like this, but the alternative is like coming back here later and basically any backtrack is terrible this game, so we're going to try to avoid that. Oops. Onwards to the estate. So the estate has a lot of stuff in it that we have to pick up. Mostly eggs. There's like eggs everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. And we don't even pick up all of them, but we still pick up like... The invader's plane must have crashed like, here. How many eggs? 16 eggs, I think. It's a lot of eggs. First one is right over here. And I mean, I guess it makes sense that they keep all the good stuff in the estate but it's, it's just really not evenly distributed at all. 
I mean, yeah, like, I guess it kind of makes sense, but, uh, like, from a lore perspective, but from a gameplay perspective, it's yeah. like, no. Okay, I don't know what happened there. So this boss fight's really cool. It's just, um, wait for her to shoot you and then deflect it. And it's, like, RNG. And they realized that wasn't exciting enough, so there's also guys to fight. Oh, good. <laughs> time entering the arena. She like moves between the different places where she can shoot you from and like sometimes she'll shoot you from the middle but sometimes she'll just decide she wants to go all the way to the other side first. It's just... Ugh. Waste time. Yeah. Kill him, you fools. I had the uh, brilliant idea of switching the difficulty mid fight to see if it makes her like more aggressive or something but it doesn't. So that doesn't help. It <laughs> actually it just makes it worse. Like it's the same boss fight no matter what. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Done that phase. We can go grab this thing while we wait. Casually take smoke damage here. There we go. She can't have gotten far. Now I gotta be very careful here to make sure I get everything. So I'm just gonna follow my route notes. Egg, egg. And we move on. Go up here. Where we have this. Across the way, we have yet another egg and a schematic. Back over here. And this room, not this room, it's up here. We have an egg. Get back here! Yeah, you tell her, Cap. She'll totally listen to you. Can't break down that door, so we gotta find another way. First, even more eggs. Um, there's four eggs in this room. <laughs> One's up here. And four. And I think there's a schematic in here. Yep. over here and another egg over here Bingo. this should lead to the trophy room. another one of these classic hidden passageways behind the bookcase I feel like they wanted to add a certain amount and then they got towards the end of the game they're like oh we're missing a bunch of eggs what do we do and somebody was like Put them all on one level. Just throw yeah. them in there somewhere. Um, so <laughs> we here's gotta a, have... Here's dueling pistols. There's only one of those, so you have to pick that up. Gives you a Zemo diary. What have you done to Fallsworth? Blow this guy up. Nice, he took out everybody. Almost. Alright, 
Alright, this one's a little less RNG because she just stands there and shoots you. And she shoots you a couple times and then finally she comes down and actually lets you fight her. Um, and then we're gonna do our typical boss fight strat of Crippling Strike. Followed by Crippling Strike. I think you only want to do two on her here because you don't want to waste them before she like gives up and leaves. Oops. Yeah. She's done, so take everybody out. Oops. He's done. Uh, egg. Now we are finally in the last part, sort of. Why did my shield go all the way over there? I don't really know how you're supposed to do this fight casually, to be honest. It doesn't really make sense to me. But this kind of works. Because every time you get close to her, she just does this to you. Yeah. Looks really hard to hit her when she does that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Gonna inhale some smoke here, no big deal. Alright, now this is completely RNG because she's gonna either throw grenades or shoot you. And as far as I know, it's just random. You only have to do it twice though, and then you're good. I should follow her. She'll probably be headed straight for the skull. Okay, um, there is a gold falcon back here. And then some more eggs, because we didn't get enough eggs here. Um, this should be number 33. We have not missed any eggs yet. That's that's very good. If we had missed any eggs, the estate is a great time to fix that because there are so many. <laughs> Got to warn HQ about the skull. That okay, so we are now in the orchard. Um, which you can tell by the uh, the dead trees, I guess. I don't, I don't know what makes this an orchard. There's just like trenches here. Anyway, um, there's a bunch of AA cannons. We're gonna blow those up as usual. <laughs> Try not to let them call for reinforcements. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe it won't matter. Nope, didn't matter. Okay. Cool. This game's very inconsistent about whether or not <laughs> it lets you get away with that, so. Oh, wait, I missed something. Hang on. I missed a schematic back here. This is an okay area to miss things because you actually have to come back here later. But obviously it's best to just never miss anything. Tends to be the recommended advice to just follow the route, you know? Usually, yeah. I think there's one more guy. 
can't find him. There he is. Oh, this must be the reinforcements from earlier. I guess they just took so long to get in that they didn't count for the last thing. Full of scientists and computers, so you know the drill. Or nothing will explode. There we go. <laughs> there, that's that's what we were going for. We're dragged all there right at the end. Yeah. All right. So this this is kind of weird because the door into the next building is locked until you finish the fight, but only these guys up here are considered the fight. The, uh, the guys <laughs> that I skipped, we can still skip. Um, so we're gonna do the good old explosive strats. Excuse me. Um, maybe it's some of these guys are probably just these two. Yep, there we go. Door unlocks for us. And that's the end of that. And they just won't follow us in here, because... They know there's a radio in here somewhere. They weren't ordered to, I guess. They were ordered to guard the orchard, and I left the orchard, so it's not their problem anymore. <laughs> Radio. Um, so we've now decided that Red Skull is the priority, because apparently he's here. Or sorry, he's on his way. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try to find him. Take a bit of a detour from the plot of this game to do that. I'm on the eastern edge now. I need to find a better vantage point. Again, with the sure totally random know. camera angles during dialogue, like gotta love it. Falls worth every other prisoner in this place. I've got to try. Rogers out. Right, onwards to the, the rail line. There's only one thing we need to collect in here. It's one schematic. Um, excellent. Another upgrade. Oh, I've had upgrades for a while. Whoops. My aim's I hope we can buy both of these. And now we don't need to buy any more upgrades because the I don't think we get enough experience to buy two more. And the second last one that I would buy does not matter. Where's the fire? Oh, yep, that's Dugan, all right. This is a fun fight with Ricochet Shield. Whoops. There we go. And that's the end of that. Do I have to be standing here? There we go. I guess if you run away, the cutscene doesn't play. I wonder if this cutscene has to play, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It probably does. This game is pretty stingy about objectives. One chance to reach the skull in time. One of these trains goes in the right direction. 
That runs east-west. I need one heading north. Um, hey. just like shattered his spine um, three five F oh five easy is that everybody yep nice okay here's the schematic the entire rail if I can just get a train running north I can hitch a ride straight to the skull nine five three D C E Let's give you less time. No, I can't see it. I'll just do another one. Is this the same thing? No, it's not. Two, seven, four, one, B, E, E. There we go. One day I'll be good at those. One more turn should do. Oh, whoops! Gotta turn it again. It's a lot. Well, uh, right. Is this a problem? No, it's not. There's a little ladder here. Okay. Just trying to do my cool fall strats to land right here, but I fell too far. Honestly, with what I've seen so far, I'm shocked that you were able to get up from there. Yeah, I, uh, I had a bit of a panic second there, but then I remembered that that has happened before, so <laughs> I knew how to save it. Yeah, there's there's a very good chance that I could fall somewhere where I can't get back up. I think if I fell all the way down, the game would kill me because that is a thing. But I don't know. You never know with these things. Yeah, those uh those hacking puzzles, the solutions are random. Unfortunately, I wish they weren't because if they weren't, I would just write them down. I tried to do that, hoping that they weren't random once, but I was totally wrong. Um, in that cutscene, we, like, completely destroy a train and everything in the train's path. It's kind of cool, actually. Are you all right? I'm fine. I found some sort of power plant. Okay, so we've got a power plant. Um, obviously, we're going to blow everything up in here because, yeah. <laughs> Why not, right? You know? I've got company. Blowing up everything else. Why not blow this up, too? All right. Oops. Unsubscribe to this newsletter. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. How about you? Cool. No 
most of the energy is being diverted to something. Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm gonna try and shut it down. Okay, but hurry. We're picking up a lot of chatter. The skull's on the move. If I can get up there, I can bring that whole setup down. Fancy moves there. That tank's gonna blow any second. Right, not entirely sure what it is that I just blew up, but task <laughs> successful. <laughs> we did it. I target the right equipment. I can take this whole plant off on next thing is apparently a heat exchanger. Gotta plant explosives where they'll do the most damage. I'm just gonna trust them that that's what a heat exchanger looks like. I, I don't know. I'm not an electrical engineer in the 1940s. What do I know? I mean, also, there's alien technology in this, isn't there? So, like, it can be whatever. It, it can literally look like whatever, right? Yeah, all this stuff is, like, powered by the, the Tesseract or whatever. So. That is definitely a factor. It's working. The machinery's failing. Okay, two eggs here. There's just one sitting in the sink. I guess someone was trying to clean it. That looks flammable. Apparently this looks flammable. I will I will take your word for that one, Cap. I guess everything looks flammable when you're a demolitions expert. <laughs> If you've got enough gasoline in the flamethrower, everything looks flammable, right? Yeah. Alright, we got one last thing to blow up here. First, let's hit this thing. You can two birds with one stone here. I don't know why the camera turned that way, but sure. Um, I gotta be careful here because this game has a cool feature where the uh, the parkour button is also the drop off the current ledge button. So you want to make sure you actually have the parkour prompt before you press A. Otherwise, you will drop down and have to start over. This is like the only part of the game where it's really a problem, but just the fact that that's a thing at all is a very interesting design choice. We have successfully blown up everything. Congratulations. And the bad guys finally figured out that I'm blowing things up in here. Egg. Um, this does not count as a railing you can hop over. Fun fact. You have to walk up the ledge there. Another example of just random inconsistency for no reason. All right, where is the big guy? Here he is. And that guy. Whoops. There we go. That takes care of that. 
swarm in this place like flies. Gotta keep moving. Bucky, All right, we are heading towards I'm gonna try and reach the, skull. the, uh, was it the third boss fight? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> You'd think I would know, but this game is kind of a haze. It just sort of happens. <laughs> <laughs> I have been there. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. Yeah. Uh, but first, we have more scientists to kill and more parkour to do, as always. God and country, so that's where all the power was going. Um, and Skull. you can see from those four pixels that Red Skull is here. Bucky, I found the Red Skull. I'm going in. That's all of them. Yep. Something down there. Something massive. It's another area that's really confusing casually. There's so many directions to go, and even even for like 100, percent like most of them don't matter. Now is to find the skull. It's the other weird thing with this game is like a lot of the things you can pick up just give you experience and don't like count towards anything. So, like, even if you're actually trying to find everything, a lot of the paths are just completely useless. Alright, uh, this is the worst boss fight in the game. Um, so... We'll start with our normal strat of doing crippling strikes, but you'll notice uh, they don't do very much damage. Um, okay, there we go. That one did damage. It was just really delayed for some reason. Um, that's not because there's a better way to fight this guy. It's just that they don't do that much damage. Um, and this is the strat. You just punch him. And it takes forever. I mean, I appreciate that the captain is just beating the ever-living crap out of a robot, but... Yeah, he's just, <laughs> he's just punching straight metal. <laughs> yeah. Specifically targeting the armored blading. I'm surrounded by incompetence! Very well, I suppose it's only right to die by my ass. And then they didn't know how to make the fight harder or more interesting, so Red Skull just starts shooting grenades at you, which is like <laughs> a mild inconvenience. Sometimes it damages him, which is helpful, but it usually doesn't. Be a little bit careful here because you can die here fairly easily if you're not paying attention to your health bar. Oh, health regen is generous enough that you can just kind of hang back and you'll be fine, but. You gotta actually regen and not get hit. Yeah. Oh. Case in point. Almost done. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I have to do a quick time event. Okay, there we go. We got him. So yeah, that's a boss fight. <laughs> This game really makes me remember how hard it is to mash buttons on a 360 controller. I usually, for PC games, I use a PS4 controller, and that controller is so nice for button mashing. It just takes like zero force to press the button. Um, 
get a nice shot of uh, Zola tripping there. And yeah, moving right along, um, some stuff exploded. Uh, we ended up here somehow. I forget the rest. <laughs> Explosions are the important part. Yeah. All the important plot points of this game are punctuated by explosions. You read? The skull got away. But I found some blueprints and they show a lot more power being diverted to the northern chapel. I think that's where they're holding Fallsworth. Copy. I want in on this. That's fine. There's like no fire down there. There's like the implication of fire with the like yellowy orange <laughs> smoke here, but there's there's no yeah. fire. <laughs> Good. All right, so we're heading towards the chapel because that's where our last friend who got kidnapped is. Uh, helicopters. Uh, apparently, some stuff exploded that I had nothing to do with. Yeah, remember these guys that we haven't seen in a while? Me neither. Anyway. <laughs> I don't die here. So that would be embarrassing. Cool. There's two things in this cave. A schematic and an egg. Sometimes the camera is like if you if you miss those and then try to go back for them, the camera will be really mean to you and will like stay outside of the cave and you'll have to like awkwardly fumble around in the cave to try to get the collectibles. It's very cool. So I highly recommend not missing those two things. Oh yeah, we're gonna go confront Red Skull. He's right over there. We're gonna get him. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Damn, we just missed him. Gotta get out of here. Find a path to That's it. He's gone. We're never gonna see him again. I'm gonna need some serious firepower to take that thing down. Serious firepower. guys out um grab whoop once it allows us to do it give me that okay and we take out the helicopter ow it's usually not this rude what how are all of these missing Here and that. Um, this side area is a little weird. I got a film reel. And then there's an AA cannon over here. I got a question from chat for you whenever you have a second. Uh, sure, go ahead. What What made you uh, pick up this game as a speedrun? Um, well, I was given it as kind of a joke gift. At some point, I when the game came out, I was like pretty young and I was kind of excited for it, but I never ended up buying it, which was probably the right choice. Um, I ended up buying <laughs> Batman Arkham Asylum instead. So yeah, that was definitely the right choice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then, uh, like six or seven years later, my brother bought it for me, kind of as a joke, and it, I had a blast playing it. Like, no, like I know this game is not good to be clear, but like I can appreciate it for what it is. Um, and then speedrunning it, it was just, I was sort of already into speedrunning and nobody had ever run this game and to date nobody else has run this game. So I figured I'd give it a try and here we are. Um, it might seem like an odd choice to go for that schematic now instead of earlier, but that door is closed earlier. So that is why. 
Um, what do we got here? Six. And another film reel here. As soon as the game lets us move. There we go. Alright, we are now heading back to an area from earlier, the East Bastion. Um, we don't really care about being here specifically, but from here we can get to the sewers. And the cool thing about the sewers is um, it's basically like this game doesn't have fast travel per se, but like the sewers are kind of a hub that lets you get to any part of the game fairly quickly. So it's just a nice little convenience thing. Um, and we also have to collect some stuff down there anyway, so we're going to make our way over there. Um, grab this egg. Um, before we do anything really in the sewers, though, we need to head over to the orchard because there is one anti-air cannon that we were not able to blow up earlier, so we're going to go blow that up now. left here. Be a couple of random guys, but not too much action over here. Really is just the AA cannon. The game also, it, uh, so like it tells you to go to the sewers to like introduce you to them, I guess. But it also gives you the option of going through the courtyard for some reason to get to the next objective. I don't know why. I never noticed that until yesterday, actually, when I was like actually reading some of the uh, objective prompts, because I never read those. <laughs> no, that's not a thing. All right. We are done with the orchard. Um, now I need to pull up my sewer notes, because the sewer is a little weird. Um, it is a sewer, so it looks very uh, samey. So another place where it's pretty easy to get lost until you actually like understand the layout then it's not too bad sewer network. right then left then right through the castle we can just follow this all the way to the end to get to the film reel that we need as well as an egg on the way there yeah this is a superhero game so obviously there had to be a sewer level that's just how that works Oops, mm, yeah. it makes perfect sense yeah Trying to think if there are any superhero games that don't have one, but like, I'm really coming up empty. <laughs> right, back down this way, all the way to the main part of the sewer, and then turn left at the earliest opportunity. There are enemies down here but they don't matter. You can just completely ignore them. Um, left, and then left this way. Yeah, this place can be pretty confusing the first couple times, but once, you, once you've gone through it a couple times, the layout's not that hard to figure out, and there are like signs for the different places you might want to go, which also helps. way and then the rail is here so now we are headed to the tank path so we are going to look for the tank sign off to the right here it's not a lot of pixels so you might not see it but there it is and there's another one so you don't have to check the map if you want to be like sure where you're going or whatever it just tells you There's a couple of well thought out decisions here. Just, just not very many. I hope he's stupid enough to come here. A lot of bad guys. Sleep every centimeter. So there's a couple collectibles and two A cannons here. Um, here's a collectible. And I believe the 
One is, yep, this back corner. A cannon is way up there, so we gotta do some funky parkour to get up there. That's why we just blow up the old-fashioned way, because we're right here and we can blow it up. Um, the next one is also up above, but it's across over there, so to get out of here. Just a parkour over here. And I use this radar dish to tell our boys to blow it up. Marita, coordinates are locked. leaves one more in the next area of those. We are quickly running out of things to do here. Um, this is another great opportunity for a disarm. Ideally I can blow up the other guy but he's in a bit of a weird spot so it's a little hard to get a I hit him. about 11 things left there's the chapel so yeah we're getting really to close to the end here oh falls has got walked be right past this egg hidden by these boxes um, it's a fight here last time I ran this game I learned that these enemies are completely optional so we're just gonna go ahead and ignore them I think there's some tanks up ahead, and I think the tanks just blew up their own guys, I can't walk and through. also this entire path. <laughs> Great. Better get out of their line of sight. I guess that's one way of doing it. Yeah. CA cannons right here, so we will get rid of that in just a moment. Um, there it is. guy here. For some reason you can critical strike him once and it defeats him, even though they usually take two. Um, I learned that like three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay. Okay. Now we gotta start taking out those tanks. Stand by for coordinates. I've got some tanks that need shelling. Right here, Cap. They've been firing on us all day. Light them up. Yeah, that'll take care of that tank. Well, we're waiting for that. We grab this thing. And that's the last Zemo diary. Takes care of that. Um, for some reason, the dish just, like, burnt out there, so we gotta find a different way to take out the other tank. Target locked. Fire when ready. Okay, while we wait for that, there's an egg we can go get down here. Uh, there it is. 47, that is correct. Yeah. I just pray I'm not too late. Whoops. Always get lost there. Trying not to use my focus here because I want to save it for the upcoming boss fight. As we've got another one coming up here. It's time to fight. Zola. So, is that his name? I'm like having a mental problem right now. That should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arnim Zola. Yeah. I don't know why I was not sure about that. Bucky, I was pretty sure that's the name I've seen for the past two hours. Yeah. I think for some reason I started thinking of Zelda and like Zora. And that threw me off. I don't know why, a, but. It'd be a wild crossover, though. Yeah. Uh, we don't actually fight him, though, because he's just some scientist nerd, but he's got uh, CRTs here. You thought me dead? <laughs> I am beyond life and death. I have transcended flesh, mastered it, including your friend Fallsworth. It's kind of funny because this is like solid accidental foreshadowing for Winter Soldier. Where he like actually becomes a computer. Alright, so Stay away from him, Zola. classic boss fight formula. Kick him in the face. Hit him with your shield. Kick him in the face. Kick him in the face. 
Oh, Captain America's going on about some philosophical nonsense. <laughs> no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> the important question is, does he understand what he's talking about? I, I sure hope so. <laughs> I hope somebody does. If he's already senile, then there's the future's gonna have some real problems. Alright, so that was that. Um, spoiler, that was sort of a mini boss rather than like an actual boss fight, but it's okay. Um, we got... Hang on. There's a... I gotta make sure I got everything in here. There we go, there's the film reel. Professor Erskine's genius without a shred of his conscience. Then one more egg over here. Somewhere. I always forget. Here it is. And the final egg will be on the backtrack out of here. Finally saved all our friends, which means we can go finish the game. Because really, the entire game was getting here, getting captured, and then rescuing everybody and blowing up everything in the on the way there. It's okay though; we're not done blowing things up. That's what I think it is. They'll see it. Stay alert with the artillery and tell Dugan to be ready. I'm gonna need everything we got. I'm like 80% sure the egg is here. There it is. Cool. And that's that. We've done the 100% part of the run, so now we just go fight the final boss. just kind of monologuing. We don't have to wait for his monologue in this, though. It's okay. If we interrupt this monologue, he just keeps monologuing later anyway, so... <laughs> he, he gets all the monologuing he needs in. <laughs> something, something. New World Order. turning back once I go in there. Classic point of no return moment. Alright, so the way this is going to work is that there are more of these Zola robot things, and also you might notice there's a really giant robot over there in the background. Uh, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Thunder or something, probably. Yeah. For some reason they call it the sleeper. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's a comic book thing or something they made up. And honestly, I'm not sure which is worse. Um, hello. Okay. <laughs> I agree with you, hundred <laughs> percent. Planes don't stand a chance. I've got to get its attention. Maybe an artillery strike. All right, let's artillery strike this thing. Whoops. Excuse me. Marita, coordinates are locked. Fire! 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 We're artillery striking it, knowing that it won't really do that much damage. I mean, it did a little bit of damage there, but the point was just to distract it. Here, you overgrown science project. Over here. Parkour away out of here, as you do. 
You gotta be careful getting off of that uh, balcony there, because it really just disappears right out from under you. Oh, wow, Jesus. Yeah. Right, we got another one of these, uh, but this time there'll be other guys fighting, so... I fly off the ledge? I think he did. Nice. Yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> yeah. Can't let it drop eat. This should get its attention. Alright, let's get its attention. Okay, I got its attention. Uh now what? Shield don't fail me now. It's really scary deflect because of the input lag, and you like just die instantly if you mess it up. Looks like I got his attention. Better keep moving. Because you know why not have auto fail segments? Especially right at the end of the game. Yeah. All right, we're full on focus. Hmm. To run, Zola. Even a mind as twisted as yours needs a body to survive. Do the uh, the classic. Okay, now we're actually gonna back up a little bit because there are a lot of guys here and we do need to fight all of them. So let's just let our shield do its thing. You. Whoops. Excuse me. Okay. Getting stunlocked by this thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Ever been stunlocked by a CRT before? <laughs> it feels like that, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, so time's coming up here because we're about to kill the big guy. You'll notice there's three cables on his neck. So we're just gonna throw our shield at that and then win. This is time. So yeah, that is a... Uh, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say it's a little delayed, but it's probably like a 217.10. Nice, that's world record. By I, like five I, minutes. <laughs> nice. GG uh, on the world record. Thank you. Assuming I actually got everything, which I'm pretty sure I did, but we won't find out until after. But uh, yeah, that is Captain America Super Soldier. Um, yeah. If you're interested in running this game, 
Uh, why? But there is a leaderboard on speedrun.com. <laughs> <laughs> I my brain froze for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a leaderboard with only me on it. Um, I could post the 100% route somewhere if anyone ever wanted to do it. Um, yeah, and you can pick up a copy of this game for the low low price of 280 Canadian dollars. Is the listing I saw the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The used game market is a little scuffed in Canada. If you live basically anywhere else, you should be able to get it a little cheaper than that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for having me, GDQ. Yeah, thank you so much for being on. Uh, so it looks like it was a 216.50. Nice. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being on. Uh, this is a great. <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> I hope everybody else had fun. I had fun. This was great. Um, thank you so much for running. Uh, do you have any other shoutouts? I, I guess you gave a little bit, but... Uh, shout out to me for being the only person around this game. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to you. <laughs> you made the right decision in getting Batman, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would not have been a happy 12-year-old or however old I was playing this and beating it in six hours. Oh god, no. Well, uh, thank you so much for being on. Uh, I had a great show. Er, I had a great time during the show. Um, we do have another show coming up. Uh, it's going to be She Is Speed, which is a show about women speedrunners showcasing the games they love. And they've got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So uh, that's going to be a great run for y'all. Uh, that's it for uh, Bargaming tonight. Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great one. And thank you again so much, Chicken Nuggets. Thanks for having me.